we're at the watershed today and we're exploring what we need to do to get the west of England to zero carbon by 2030. There are lots of different people in the room. We've heard from a number of great speakers who've presented different perspectives and people are now sharing their knowledge at the tables as part of the workshop session. We're really looking forward to seeing what comes out of everybody's information and ideas for action. The point that was made today in the presentation that irrespective of what the target is, there's some obvious next steps that look pretty similar in any scenario. Um, I certainly agree with that. Um, and for me, our interest is in investing in heat networks, which I think uh, in any heat decarbonisation scenario, they're going to be an important part of the picture. So I think as a first step, we'd just like to see a lot more investment in heat networks uh, and with heat supplied from low carbon sources, mainly electric. Working in the areas that you know, again, to push those boundaries and make people just try a little bit harder. Um, pushing at pushing the open doors, but also knocking pretty hard on those that don't want to open so that, so that we can make change happen.